Technology, oh, unbelievable. Right. We're backing up here. Wow. Welcome to the captain's log. Yakov Shmirnov in the house today. Hi. Let's make sure we don't crash before we get out of yeah, here. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be not a good captain's log. That would uh -huh. be like captains yeah. crash yeah. and burn. <laughs> so, so welcome yeah. everybody. We're in Naples, Florida. We just did radio. We're gonna have some fun. We're with Yakov. We are. What a country, right? Yeah. It's been great. We're having fun. Yes, we are. We did how many shows? We just did four radio shows. Four radio. In Fort Myers, and now we're in Estero. We're heading back to Naples. Uh, Going to get you some rest. Yes. And then that we have a nice. 7 o'clock show tonight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So See, tell us about going back to school. You're getting your doctor ticket? I am. I am. It's uh, it's really an exciting time in my life. I I found that uh, there's a lot of information um, that um, I did not know about relationships. And what was interesting in this discovery for me that it's like when I came to America, a lot of people remember me being this wide eye, wide eye immigrant who is trying to understand what's happening in this country. So it's the same uh, principle I'm applying only to um, relationships and recognizing that there's some things we're just not paying attention to, we're just not aware of them. But once you make them funny and visible, then they become something that you can use in your life. When did you realize that you wanted to be like the new matchmaker? I don't know if it's matchmaking more. It's I think it's more um, like a group therapy. Okay. You know of of recognition that you see some things that people just need to be aware of, and once they're aware of it, they can make their own choices. But if we don't know something, it's like you know when people used to smoke, uh, chain smoke, and they didn't know it was hurting them. Right. They. they and so the same thing is happening when it happens slowly in the society, uh, things shift and nobody's paying attention. And it's because it's slow. But when somebody points it out and says, here's what happened over this last 60 years or 70 years that we did not really anticipate because it's all new, and the relationships are falling apart. The divorce rate is pretty astronomical. It's like 50% in the, on the, on the regular uh, couple, first, first marriage, 67% second marriage, 73%, 73% third marriage in you, divorce. You had your first marriage in a divorce? I did. And now you're single? I'm, well, I'm dating. I, dating. I have a, a girlfriend, yeah. More than one? One, one. Just one? One, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, but we're so that's not, serious. I think so. I well, right. we, at this moment, we're well, she might we're be still, watching me, but yeah. Yeah, it's very serious. It's very serious. It's, <laughs> it's very serious. Yes, that's uh, right. That's right. But but it's it's still uh, there's some some challenges because she's you know uh, she lives in Ukraine where where I oh, grew wow. up. So we she uh, moving to another country is kind of scary for her. So I understand it, which Absolutely. is, I grew up, you know, I, I remember my mom was scared to move to America for years. My dad wanted to move, but mom didn't want to. And so having uh, that experience in my life, I'm realizing I'm compassionate. I understand that it takes time, but it doesn't mean she will eventually want to do it, you right. know? So, and that's understandable. When you came over from Ukraine, you came with your family, or you yes. came along? Yes. You did. Uh -huh. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, my my uh, my dad wanted to get out years before mom did, and then finally I started performing in the cruise ships, and I decided that I need to I need to go. And so yeah. when I was ready to go, then mom said, "Okay, well let's let's go all together." So so we did. Wow, that's great. Yeah. yeah, that really is nice. And so, how did you come up with the catchphrase? What a country. You know, it was a process because it wasn't obvious to me, but then the audience, one of the audience members at the comedy store, I remember, walked out 
and I, I said what a country several times in my show, but I didn't see it as a catchphrase. I didn't even think about it. Yeah. And the guy slapped me in the back and said, what a country. And that kind of gave me, oh, wow, that it's, it's something that the audience can retain and remember and say it. Uh, that's that's a that's a niche. That's a phrase that needs to continue. And I tried since then to come up with new ones. I have one, and I use it in the show. It's uh, I bet you never thought of it that way. And that's another catchphrase yeah. that people, if you say it many enough, they they remember that. I, I never thought of it that way. There you go. Okay, see, see, it's already <laughs> working. Yeah. It's very catchy. Yeah, yeah. So what are you looking forward to doing this week while you're in town? Um, well, I think that I'm inspired with your suggestions in terms of uh, comedy clubs. I haven't done many comedy clubs in the last 15, oh, probably 30 years. Right. So, so this is interesting to me to reach to a newer, new audience with the angle of uh, live, laugh, love, or love, laugh, live, depending on which which way you wanna twist it. Yeah. And uh, and help people with my education, with my doctorate degree coming, you know, and my dissertation, I feel like I can really uh, get a lot of people some information that would be very helpful. I mean, I think everyone likes to laugh and that's kind of like the spirit of of life so yes. i totally think that it, yes. you know it's going to be a good hook uh, people will enjoy that i mean you're going to give them a lot of knowledge you're going to give them a feel-good show yeah and everyone's laughing so yep. they get the best of like all that's true all worlds you know? yeah. yeah yeah reaches all the senses too you know it's a uh, yeah visual auditory and kind of aesthetic it's part of the um, learning system that we have built in and um, I, I think it will work so I'm excited about doing a workshop on on Sunday night we just That's kind right. of made it uh, official actually afternoon from 2 to 4 yep. and it's only 25 bucks and you can actually get the tools that can help you create a better relationship I think I think that's really something that people um, kind of aspire to do. So by being able to sit down and listen to you explain to them step by step and laughing along the way. Exactly. Uh, I mean, that's a it's a wonder. So yeah, yeah. That's going to be really catchy across win, the country. Win-win for everyone, yes. Really, really mm -hmm. will be. Do you live in L.A. now? Yes, I do. In Malibu, yes. And you like it? I like it. I like but it you lot. were in Branson for I years. I lived in Branson for 23 years, and last three years I've been back in California, yep. um, and going, you know, getting my my doctorate degree, and um, I still travel. Um, you know, I'm here in Florida, and I still do shows, but I also want something significant to be left after I'm gone. And to me, uh, happily ever laughter, or I bet you never thought of it that way, or live, laugh, love, uh, will, I think, has a potential to stay after I'm gone. I agree. I agree. You're in, you're in the process of kind of reinventing yourself right now. Yes. And yes, very much so. And it's exciting. It is. Yeah. It really is. Well, don't forget, guys, this is the Captain's Log. Yakov Shmirnas, our guest today. We're going to be at Off The Hook Comedy Club all week, Thursday through Sunday. Get tickets at offthehookcomedy.com. You can call us, 239-389-6901. Come laugh. Your Yakov. Yeah, come laugh your Yakov. That's a great, that's, that's a great way to end the captain's log. Have a good one.